All right. Hello, everybody. This is the re-record of my video. Um, the last one, I didn't realize the microphone was making me sound like a robot, and so I have decided to redo it. And without further ado, uh, here we go. So this video is um, an overview of what the Beyond 20 Chrome extension is. And what it is, is it's basically a way to integrate your D&D Beyond character sheet into Roll20 so that you can roll through D&D Beyond and it'll display on your virtual tabletop. Instead of having to have multiple character sheets and bouncing in between, um, you can just have the one set up with the Chrome extension. So for those of you who don't know, D&D Beyond is a tool set, multi-purpose web-based thing that um, WOTC puts out, has put out, uh, Wizards of the Coast, and they have, you can start characters, you can have campaigns, you can create your own items and monsters. There's also all of the classes and spells available that they have updated, uh, they keep up to date. There's also the source books, so any of the basic books, and all of the adventures as well. But the, the one caveat is that you have to have them purchased. I am lucky in that my DMs have content sharing turned on and they have purchased the ultimate pass. So that is an option that you can do. If you have absolutely nothing, you can like pick and choose individual pieces for your character, but it ends up being a bit more expensive that way. But unless you need like one or two things and you're just playing in one campaign, that's fine. But I would suggest the best course of action is to work with your DM and come up with a way to chip in. So then one person can get the ultimate pass, they can share it with everybody, but everybody has contributed to that. Um, that's what I suggest. So it's a great, great tool, great resource. And I'll show you what um, Beyond 20 does for you. Um, so let's go to Beyond 20. Okay, so all I've typed in on Google is Beyond 20. And this is what comes up. So it's integrated D&D Beyond seamlessly with virtual tabletops. And it fits with Roll20, Foundry, and Discord as well. And it's very easy to install. All you need to do is click Install. You can go to um, the Chrome Web Store or Firefox and add it that way. So mine's already added, but I'll just re-add it just to show you. So here's the uh, Chrome Web Store page. I'll just remove it and just add it. Add extension, and you're done. That's it. Um, my browser is a bit different. It's called Vivaldi, but it uses the Chrome language programming stuff. I'm not sure. I'm not. I don't. I'm not very well versed in that. But uh, that's what it is. And so now it's ready to go. It is still under development, um, and you can totally support it. They have a Patreon and um, a GitHub sponsor. You can check that out if you need to. If not, it's all for free. So that's fantastic. Um, now, what that does for you is that it allows you to have a character in D&D Beyond. Let's say Eris right here. And you can roll ability checks, skill checks, saving throws, and even cast spells through Beyond, um, and it'll transfer it to roll 20. The one thing you have to do though, I think still, is that you have to have a character sheet that has the same name as your character. Um, otherwise, it won't display properly. It'll just be a blank. It'll just say you are displaying it. So make sure that you have that set up, or with your DM, you have that set up. And then you just go to D&D Beyond. And you can check the settings if you'd like. But from what I can tell, they are already set up properly. Never whisper type of roll. You can roll with advantage. You can always roll twice, things like that. Um, you can also add quick roll areas so that when you hover over something, it gives you the little bonus there. So if I just click that and I click beyond 20, it will, or it should, pop up in roll 20. And there we have it. So we just rolled insight twice by mistake, but it displayed the same one. So just make sure, play around with it a little bit, make sure that all the settings are correct. And it's, it's that simple. I can even go and I'm gonna cast uh, banishment. If I just click here, display, and it'll display it. So there, I've cast banishment. Um, sometimes it doesn't quite work with the spells. So if you click cast, I believe, 
If you click the cast word, it automatically will cast it for you, but I think it's the same action. For ones that also roll damage, such as like a Scorching Ray, where is that Scorching Ray? If you cast Scorching Ray, it'll display the attack roll, it'll display uh, and display the damage. Wow, that was a really good good roll, almost a natural 20. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it. Um, there's also all the customization options that were over in uh, D&D Beyond with this tooltip here. Uh, you can roll damages separately. You can use only one-handed or two-handed. There's also a bunch of custom areas you can add if you have specific things that you need to deal with. But often, you can just leave it as is, and it will it will uh, do it all for you. You can reroll. You can rename the crit name so it says critical damage. Uh, things like that. It's it's really customizable, really clean and easy, and that's pretty much it. Um, so if you found this video helpful, let me know. If you know of anything that I can do to improve it, let me know. Uh, like and subscribe if you'd like. Um, have a great day.